wireless uh, on both sides, please raise your hand and wait. Crystal. Were you upset that uh, no uh, too many men call was made prior to the cane tying goal? Yeah, I was. It's a big moment in the game. Jim? The, uh, the OC goal at the end of the second period, that kind of gave you the, the momentum coming into the second intermission? Did you yeah, I mean, for sure it did. It was a. Uh, picked up the puck in our end with only you know, less than 10 seconds on the clock. You're thinking the period's probably just going to run out, but Roman has uh, carried the puck so many times for us this year gotten through the neutral zone. But even then, with less than six seconds on the entry, you know, to cut it across the ice and find a little bit of wiggle room to get a shot off, Santo made a nice screen in front of the net. And uh, that, was a, that was a big moment in the game as well. Yeah. You lost Shea in the second period. Can, can losing a, a, a player like Shea serve as a, a rallying point for a team, even though you don't need any more motivation, but to lose a player of that caliber, does that serve as a, a rallying point at all? Yeah, I mean, I, I like the way we were playing. I, mean, I think the guys played a good game tonight. They played hard. Uh, I think everybody was locked in in the moment. And, you know, there's, there's injuries that go on through the course of the game. You don't know what they are or, or the significance of the injuries, but certainly you never like to lose any players. You certainly don't like to lose takes down as many minutes as Shea and the captain of your team. With the recent struggles in the second period to kill off that four-minute power play and then in the middle frame with the lead. Yeah, I mean, it, 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 it looked familiar, you know, from last game. We came out and took some penalties and could have swung the other way. The penalty killers did a great job, um, you know, in the first half of that period getting getting through that. And uh, it was that was difficult with Goose in the box because he's our main guy. So one of our main guys. But I thought the penalty kill did an excellent job of getting us through that point in the game and uh, you know, we were able to get going at the end of that period. That two and a half minute stretch near the end of the game where it was put out of reach with those three goals, was there something about that out, that burst in particular that stuck out or is it just a culmination of what had been going on during the game? Um, I mean, there were, there were chances that we got an opportunity to bury. There were good shots, I think, but um, you know, I like the way we were playing up until that. I, I, we're, you know, we were getting ready to manage the bench from under five minutes for an empty net, and uh, it just it just changed quickly. And a lot of times it doesn't happen like that. A lot of times a goalie gets pulled, and you know you're battling a three-two game. So it just kind of unwound from there. Scott, how much uh, special teams did you feel like played a factor with the early goal and then maybe holding them off in that four-minute I mean, they always factor in. That, that, that point in the second period, again, was a, was a big point to get through those penalty kills for us. Like I said, it was really similar to game one where you know, we had five on fours and five on threes. And, you know, we, just, we, we did a really nice job there. And I, I think it was one of the, the keys to the game to get through that point there. Are you allowed to speak while holding a camera, too? <laughs> Jack of all trades, master of none. <laughs> <laughs> to have the guys respond after the loss in game one the way they did tonight, what, yeah, I mean, what does that say about I, I, I'm, I'm pretty honest, you know. Um, I liked the way we played game one. I just didn't like the result. Our players played hard, and, uh, you know, we didn't get the result we were looking for that night. So right now I think we're playing some good hockey. We're going to need it. Uh, the opponent is excellent, and going into Chicago is a – it's a, it's a big task for our group, so um, we didn't look at it like that. I can tell you, we didn't we didn't feel like that yesterday, and uh, the guys were ready to play. Tonight. You got one more? I do. Go ahead. Uh, it's your show. Shaking off. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, a lot of the guys in the locker room talked about how clean the way they did tonight is something that they felt like they could really build on confidence-wise throughout the series. Is you feel sort of the same way about that? I. I I guess so. If they said it, I'll back it up for them. <laughs> Our guys were ready to play tonight. It showed in the first 10 minutes of the game. Um, I don't. I don't think that we're lacking for confidence. I don't think that uh, the result was good. You know, we didn't. We didn't get that result after game one, so the result was good for us. This was more than Crawford's given up having in two consecutive games this year. Are you guys just making him work more? Anything you guys have tried to target with him? No. He's a great goalie. Some nice shots at the end. It was really a tight game. I mean, you guys said it best. It was, 
It was a really tight game. We were getting ready for an empty net. It just, just kind of unraveled funny at the end. Good for us, bad for them. And uh, but he's a, he's a great goalie. And I'm sure he'll be ready next game. Take one more for Chris. Kind of talked about how you like the way that you guys have been playing. Just the results haven't been there. Did you feel that something like this was possibly building up? Just you needed to just kind of get get it, get it going and get it rolling. Yeah, I, mean, I, I think if you play the game the right way, you should get the results and. Don't, don't get me wrong, it's not like Chicago didn't show up playing game one. They did. They're a good hockey team. They played a good game. I just like the way that we played as well. Um, I liked it again tonight. And, uh, you know, it was good to get the results. I think the results can build confidence. You know, you win a game and you get the results and you can win and say, okay, we're starting to roll. And, but it's just one game. You know, they won the first one. They stole some home ice here. We got to go back into Chicago and get it back. Okay. Thanks, everyone.